Look at his face. <laughs> Son of <a> Nicholas. <laughs> Come on, that's brilliant. This is amazing. Kasi kosa. Like, I'm so laughing. This is just hilarious. The best thing ever. My face is so sore from laughing. Beautiful. Oh god, I don't want it to end. This is A Night at the Opera. Another black and white movie. I think this is like five or six or seven. It's probably only three. How did we get to this movie? Well, it was in a Patreon poll, a comedy one I think, and it got third place. But I was told not to not do it. So we're doing it today, right now. I have Marx Brothers written down. Marx. I don't know what that is. Are they in the movie? Did they make the movie? I think they're in the movie. Just remembering some comments. Two brothers maybe, and they're very funny. You know, I'm easily confused and sometimes I think things are things and things are not things because all of that just made sense. Anyway, comedy, black and white, Marx Brothers, and it's a night at the opera. I think it's going to be like the producers. It's going to be like the backgroundy parts behind the scenes of the opera and it's just gonna be lots of fun lots of laughs and just what goes on behind the stage and the opera stuff because i can't think of anything else that it would be so we're just gonna go with that can you um please like this video if you like it there's a, a thumb button down there just click that click there's also a bell button click that one too and uh, that word that says subscribe you can click that as well anything else you can click oh well i remember there's um a button that's like a super thanks special thanks something thanks and it gives me money <laughs> i didn't know and there's no way for me to know who clicks that button so i'll just thank you right now you'll know who you are i don't know who you are but thank you it means a lot every tiny little bit of support helps so much more than you'll ever know so a great big thank you from me while we're talking about support if you would like to head over to patreon it's a fantastic way to help out and there's lots of options for you to choose from and there's lots of videos on there already go and check them out if you want to i'm hoping that whatever these marx brothers are that i like them and i enjoy them because i think i have a few movies that are them yeah and play groucho chico harpo kitty carlisle and alan jones don't know them groucho marx chico marx harpo marx tomaso fiorello and otis Okay, so they are in the movie. Gentleman is not arrived yet. No, he has not. It's too late to dine now. Oh, boy. Boy. Page, Mr. Otis B. Driftwood, please. Okay, Otis is coming then, so we're going to see the first Marx brother. Mr. Driftwood, will you do me a favor and stop yelling my name all over this restaurant? Or... <laughs> Mr. Driftwood. Say, is your voice changing or is somebody else <laughs> paging me around here? Paging? Sorry, he's the page. Well, hello. <laughs> it is now eight o'clock and no dinner. What do you mean, no dinner? I just had one of the biggest meals I've ever ate in my life. <laughs> Sitting right here since seven o'clock. Yes, with your back to me. When I invite a woman to dinner, I expect her to look at my face. <laughs> Nine dollars and forty cents. This is an outrage. If I were you, I wouldn't pay it. <laughs> you promised to put me into society. You'll always be my good woman because I love you. It's rather difficult to believe that when I find you dining with another woman. That woman? Do you know why I sat with her? No. Because no. she reminded me of you. <laughs> What's wrong with these eyes? Mrs. Claypool and Mr. Gutley. Mrs. Claypool and Mr. Gutley. <laughs> Mr. Gutley and Mrs. Claypool. Mrs. Claypool, I could go on like this all night, but it's tough on my suspenders. <laughs> This is Benders. Now listen here, Gutley. Making love to Mrs. Claypool is my racket. Look at his mustache. That's impressive. Oh, Mrs. Claypool, it is most generous of you to help us. You have, of course, heard of Rudolfo Laspari. No. He's the greatest tenor since Caruso. Mm. All New York will be at your feet. Well, that's funny of room. <laughs> what are you doing in my costume? Take it off at once, do you hear? Oh. Oh, I see all the costumes on. <laughs> Take off that dress, do you hear me? You dumb idiot, you do what I say or I'll break your neck. <laughs> Look at his face. You're no longer my dresser, you're fired. Get out, get out. <laughs> get out, do you hear me? Ow. Oh, he's actually whipping him. Here it is the last night of the season and I'm more in love with you than ever. Who is you one of the brothers? Well, Fiorello. Oh, he is. Tommaso! Tommaso, it's, that's him. Whoa, how, how fast is he? I brought you present. You got something for me too? Where's, where's Ricardo? 
Does he not talk? <laughs> He's cute. I like him. What are you doing here? I thought you were out with the circus. When was I with the circus? Oh, I nearly forgot. It was a long time ago, last week. A long time ago, last week. <laughs> That someday, Ricardo, you're gonna be with Las Parias. Why, when you were a little boy, six years old, you sing better than Las Parias. All right, I know it, you know it, but the public doesn't know it. Well, show them then. What do you need is a manager, mm -hmm. a wise guy, somebody who's a very smart. Mm -hmm. I know just the matter for you. You do? Who is it? Me. Me. Whoa. Whoa, look how much people there was. Herman Gottlieb is coming back to see me. How would you like to have supper with us? I already have an engagement. I have an idea he's going to invite me to sing in New York. He may permit me to select my leading lady. Are you sure you can't break your appointment? I'm terribly sorry, signore. Oh, look at that smirk. <laughs> he looks stupid. What do you mean by humiliating me in front of all those people? You're fired, do you understand? Hey, you big bully, what's the idea of hitting that little bully? Yeah. Are you trying to let me handle my own affairs? Leave him alone. Can you sleep on your stomach with such big buttons on your pajamas? Why, <laughs> <Boy>, you. <laughs> nice one. You're sorry for what you did, eh? That shows a nice spirit. Oh. She'll be fine now. <laughs> 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 he will come up just so he can do it again. Well, I think I can get a Mary get to meet him halfway. What is his mustache and eyebrows? How much you pay him? Thousand dollars a night. I'm entitled to a small profit. How about ten dollars a night? A small profit. <laughs> can he live in New York on three dollars? No. Like a prince. Of course, he won't be able to eat, but he can live like a prince. <laughs> you know, there's a federal tax mm -hmm. and a state tax mm -hmm. and a city tax. Mm -hmm. And a street tax mm -hmm. and a sewer tax for everything. Now, uh, here are the contracts. There's no need of you reading that because these are duplicates. Read it. Don't you know what duplicates are? Sure, there's five kids up in Canada. <laughs> duplicates. <laughs> All right, I'll read it to you. Can you hear? I haven't heard anything yet. Did you say anything? Well, I haven't said anything worth hearing. Well, that's why I didn't hear anything. Well, that's why I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. No, it's no good. What's the matter with her? I don't know. Let's hear it again. <laughs> Why should we quarrel about a thing like this? We've taken it right out, eh? <laughs> it's a too long anyhow. <laughs> I don't like it the second party either. Well, you should have come to the first party. We didn't get home around four in the morning. I was blind for three days. <laughs> blind for three days? Rather than go through all that again, what do you say? Fine. Mm -hmm. You can have nothing left. Whatever it is, I don't like. Ready? Okay. <laughs> now then, is my word good enough for you? I should say not. Well, that takes out two more clauses. He's got a lot less than you have. Hey, how is it my contract is skinnier than yours? Yeah. Hey, I forgot to tell you, I can't write. <laughs> oh, that's all right. There's no ink in the pen anyhow. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so funny. It's all right, that, that's in every contract. That's that's what they call a sanity clause. <laughs> you can't fool me, there ain't no sanity clause. <laughs> sanity clause. <laughs> there ain't no sanity clause. Oh my god, that's brilliant. Speak to me, it's me, it's Gottlieb. Speak to me, it's me, it's Gottlieb. <laughs> <laughs> There's the three brothers year. together. I thought they would have been brothers like in the movie. Oh, Miss Castaldi, all ready for the big trip? This is Riccardo Baroni of the Opera Company. Oh, Mr. Otis B. Driftwood seemed to think that you had quite a boy. Oh, he has, Mr. Gottlieb, really he has. You can't wait to hear it. Are you going to sing back? Oh, yes. Oh, Mr. Gottlieb. Hasn't he a wonderful voice? Yeah. Not a bad voice. Someday, perhaps, when he has made a reputation. Beautiful. Imagine that. Imagine two people singing to each other and everyone just standing watching. <laughs> hey, have I got time to go back and pay my hotel bill? Sorry, too late. That suits me fine. <laughs> Jesus, whose luggage is that? You got any insurance? No, sir. Well, you're just the fellow I want to see. I have here an accident policy that'll absolutely protect you. If you lose a leg, we help you look for it. We'll help you look for it. <laughs> wow. 
Wow, look at the beards. Say, was that three fellas or one fellow with three beards? Hello, Ted. Hello. Say, pretty classy layout you got here. He just stood in her luggage. <laughs> Oh, he's so mad, is he? Sing ho for the open road. I think I know that song. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Oh, Hello, boss. Oh, it's them too. I, I thought this was my trunk. It is your trunk. I don't remember packing you, boys. <laughs> Say, isn't that my shirt you've got on? Hey, look, I don't know. I found it in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> Say, it's lucky I left another shirt in this drawer. <laughs> What's the other brother? <laughs> that can't be my shade. My shade doesn't snore. <laughs> Don't wake him up. He's gotten... This is amazing. We've come to make up your room. Oh, you can't. Are those my hard-boiled eggs? No. I can't tell until they get in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bloody hell. I'm the engineer. I'm going to turn off the heat. Up. Well, you can start right in on him. Wake up, come on. <laughs> come on. Who else is going to turn up? Yes. Did you want a manicure? No, come on in. No, come on in. Ladies and gentlemen, the final night of the voyage. <laughs> I cannot let the evening pass. The three greatest aviators in the world. The what? Aviators. Three bears aviators, but you notice they're traveling by boat. <laughs> He's right. And what's his heart? Do you rumba? Oh yes, of course. A rumba. Well, take a rumba from one to ten. Look <laughs> his heart. All alone. If you had any real feeling for me, you'd stop associating with the kind of riffraff I've seen you going around with. Those two uncouth men I saw you around the opera house with. Oh no, they're cool. Very grateful. They're not on board the boat. They are. The only tenor I could ever stand was a fellow by the name of Riccardo Baroni. Ever hear of him? Yes. Ricardo, I wonder where he is right now. He's on the boat. Roaming over the countryside someplace. Ricardo always loved the open. Look at his eyes. Never could stand being cooped up. He still doesn't like it. <laughs> He's on the boat. There he is. <laughs> I do like a funny face. You're gonna get caught. Hey, stop that. Get away from those instruments. What are you doing? Entertaining everyone. Yeah, let them play. I want to hear. If anyone asks you how you are, it's proper to say, Cosi, Cosa. Cosi, Cosa. You don't have to start a love affair. Say, Cosi, Cosa. Cosi, Cosa. Cosi, Cosa. I don't know what it means. Cosi cosa? <laughs> Told you, he's entertaining the whole boat. Yay, very nice. I loved it. <laughs> wow. could watch his fingers all day. That's amazing. <laughs> Yay! Well done. Bravo. Oh God. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> They're very good at entertaining, aren't they? <laughs> He's got the wall of stitches. This is making me feel very emotional. Oh, oh. Those men, they can't be passengers on this boat. They must be stowaways. Uh oh, oh. Stowaways? Yeah. We'll soon find out. Mm. Bugger. Ryan. Yeah, whose window's that? Oh, it's the, it's the three men. <laughs> Why are they sleeping in the same bed? <laughs> what? What is going through your head? Oh no, you can't do that. Oh, that's what they've done. <laughs> 
Oh, please. This is so the mayor is going to make another speech. We can tear up the mayor's speech when we get there. And so, my friends, as mayor of this great city, I take pleasure in... And nobody's noticed. ...distinguished visitors to tell us something about their achievement. Uh-oh. <laughs> Quick, think of something. How we happen to come to America is a great story. But I not tell that. <laughs> but I not tell that. The first time we started, we get a halfway across when we run out of gasoline. And we gotta go back. <laughs> Just about the land. Maybe three feet. <laughs> well, what do you think? We run out of gasoline again. And the back we go again and get the more gas. No, <laughs> Well, we get a halfway over. When what do you think happened? We forgot the airplane. <laughs> Get her the great idea. We not take a gasoline. We don't take the aeroplane. We take a steamship. And that, friends, is how we fly across the ocean. Okay. Okay. My mouth hurts. Well, you give me to set fire to your beard. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. This is just hilarious. The best thing ever. <laughs> hey, I think these fellas are phony. You hear what they say? Say they've never been so insulted in their life and they absolutely refuse to stay here. Tell them he didn't mean it. No, yet we found this now. We didn't even do this. What's he talking? That's not a language. Of course, you know this means war. <laughs> I apologize and I hope you're not. Oh, his beard's bad. off, though. <laughs> Here are the three stories you fooled City Hall. If it's a policeman, knock once more. That's good enough for me. <laughs> I bloody love his eyes. I noticed the table set for four. That's nothing. My alarm clock is set for eight. That doesn't prove a thing. A wise guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I beg your pardon. I must be in the wrong room. <laughs> She wouldn't have seen him on the boat at all then. I was just going to take a nap. Whenever I want to see you, you make some excuse. You will not dine with me. You will not ride with me. She doesn't like you. I must ask you to leave. Oh, come now, my dear. Be sensible. If you ask me, I think she's being very sensible. <sighs> Surely I have made my meaning clear. <gasps> Ricardo! Oh. oh, right on the chin. I warned you, Mr. Driftwood, if you continue to associate with those men, everything would be over between us. And you've been associating with them? How do you know? You couldn't find them. Yeah. <laughs> This car is for officials. Take the stairs. Well, that's four flights. I can't walk all that distance. All right, I'll help you. Oh. Here they are. <laughs> what he's going to do now? Oh, you, you just entertain everyone and you make your own opera and then he can be your manager. What do you think, Gail Asparry? He's got a rose of fire. Les Barry? Yes, yeah. he won't let us sing tonight. Yeah, let's just, just you do your own thing then. Take me out to the ball game. What are you doing here? This is Mr. Gottlieb's box. He couldn't come, so he gave me his ticket. And he couldn't get dressed, so he gave me his clothes. <laughs> Have you seen Mr. Gottlieb? He's disappeared. We can't find him anywhere. You didn't look in the right place. But the speech. He used to make a speech before the curtain went up. Now, you'd better say something. Mm -hmm. But I never made a speech in my life. All right, I'll take care of it. Yeah, you do it. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess that takes in most of you. <laughs> this is the opening of a new opera season. <laughs> a season made possible by the generous checks of Mrs. Claypool. <laughs> Sit back there. Senior Les Barry comes from a very famous family. His father was the first man to stuff spaghetti with bicarbonate of soda, thus causing and curing indigestion at the same time. <laughs> I'll take this side. <laughs> it's none of my business, but I think there's a brace of woodpeckers in the office. <laughs> this is bloody fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> My face is so sore from laughing. Oh, that's taking me out to the ball game. Peanut, peanut, get your <laughs> now we've got a show. Ha <laughs> ha, are you laughing at? Those clothes don't fit you. Are you? Hey, you're getting to be a good shot, Tommaso. <laughs> Tommaso. I love his name, Tommaso. Yeah. Boogie, boogie, boogie. 
How would you like to feel the way she looks? <laughs> that is Clifford's voice. <laughs> Oh, they're there. I saw them. What was that? High C oh. or vitamin D? <laughs> I'm not coping. <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> that was a rubbish plan. It's not going well for you. <laughs> Wee! I told you, they're more entertaining. Wow. Yeah, that's better. Even a yeah, you do. I want you to sing at the break. But I have no reputation, Mr. Gottlieb. Uh huh. I've been rehearsing with Miss Castani, so that's it. That's it exactly. Do it. All right. Get them two costumes at once, quick. You hear that? That's real singing. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's loving it. Loved it. It's about time. Just hurry, where have you been? Ben, do you know what they did to me? Yeah, it was funny. I'll sing them an encore that they'll never forget. No. <clears throat> Don't let them on. Boo. Boo. Get off. Never in my life have I received such treatment. They threw an apple at me. They threw an apple at me. I can't sing if I'm arrested. These men are in this country under false pretenses. I'll be responsible for them. And Mr. Driftwood is an employee of the opera company. Since when? Since Baroni started singing. Yeah. Well, I get a hold of the guy that runs that elevator. <laughs> Before he sings, you got to sign a contract. Mm -hmm. And I get 10%. Yes, and I get 10% too. <laughs> A bloody contract. Party of the eleventh part. Oh, no. <laughs> what is it? What did he just do? <laughs> no, it's not. No way. Oh God, I don't want it to end. Damn it. That was best movie ever you know the bit when they were on the boat and the one that can't speak or doesn't or chooses not to speak and he was playing the harp i was getting so emotional and i was thinking how have i never seen this movie before how do i not know these brothers i have lived such a sheltered life i didn't know who these people were i'm getting emotional because i've went my whole life without seeing these like awesome amazing brilliant fantastic movies that's just so mad how many other movies are these guys in oh i just want to see them all now is this the best one or is this just the one that i need to start with maybe i wasn't even supposed to start with this one i don't know just tell me everything those guys are like born to entertain i loved it i absolutely loved it it was just a perfect mix with the singing and the music and the comedy silliness i love that brothers all around amazing movie once again i just can't fault it and now it's another black and white movie that i can add to my list thank you so much for suggesting watching this movie it's another one where i would think a night at the opera i don't want to see that not that i've got anything against the opera but it's not something i've ever been like yeah i really want to see that it's just a whole life of not wanting to see movies, not liking movies before I've even seen them and now I'm kicking myself because it's my own fault and I missed out. Making up for it now though. Okay if you enjoyed this video please give it a great big thumbs up. If you're planning on staying then please subscribe. Also please head over to Patreon if you want to. I, my face aches. It's seriously aching. My lips are like twitching. They're so sore. So thank God the next movie I'm going to watch is not a comedy. I need to rest my facial muscles. Oh, I can't, I can't believe how good that was. I'm so happy with life right now. Right, I'm away to go watch another movie. It's about aliens. See if you can guess what it is. If you guess what it is, then you have to subscribe. That's the deal. Okay, I'm going to go. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.